Um, all right, my people, how on a day now? Um, I hope so. You know, I just enjoy all it in, um, uh, you know, life give us. And I hope so. <laughs> the country they okay for where on a day. You know, in this government, it depends where you did, it depends the level where you did, and we will carry the joy with them, they go on. So, the Tamil person just say, just ask, how you doing? Anyway, Sha, uh, well, I just, I started, we are just, they talk to now this uh, lovely day now for office. Just our uh, work sometimes, every week, you know, no weekend, you know, no weekday. And I to just do the writing, I believe most important something. Um, my people, you get one video one one play for now. You know, see, you don't tell small world, don't they talk about Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. Kenya get a lot of things. So you see, um, they really, uh, they, you know, a lot of things, they, they come up from Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. Now, now all these protests, where they go on, every three years, they happen for Kenya. To the extent that even the president do now, no even know it in. They want to. Say you understand? That's it. The people now don't even pass the power of the government. Police had a hard time. But don't be waiting concerning me. I get one story, one story like that. We do. We are just see from Kenya. We be see the thing just they very bizarre. You know, we shall not say we na we will do for this media something. They say. Any bizarre story, Sha, now they make news. So I don't see this bizarre story from Kenya. And I just see, make I just share this video to now, this story to now. Now, about two siblings, a brother and a sister, when they see, say they must marry themselves. So without you know, wasting our time, I want to watch this video. Mokuna, tell me who I will blame for this. Issue with the for ground so now the children I will blame I've been at the parents. Yeah, I just wanna just watch this video to the end. But gonna just tell me whose fault? Yeah? African culture, yes, they did. But sometimes who will blame for this matter with the like this? I been gonna just watch this video. I been gonna don't forget to like and follow this my page. I beg. Yeah? They bring on a better, 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 better to read, better, better video, better, better content. And the problem is with that. In this government, we could do it together. We're not worry. We're gonna enjoy. You won't believe what they did. Brian married his sister Brianna. We can't leave each other. It's not our fault to be. I understand that. We are siblings. And not only that. They are even expecting a baby. Yes, it's true. We love each other so much and I'm not going to leave her for anything. It's hard for many to understand, but they live under the same roof, share everything, care for each other, and even walk down the street hand in hand without feeling ashamed. I just say he's my husband. You might judge them, but their situation is due to common mistakes made by many parents. You think this could never happen to you, but it's a situation anyone could find themselves in unexpectedly. What did their parents do wrong that led to such a terrible thing? How do these two manage in a society that finds their situation hard to accept? And how did they end up in this position even though they are siblings? Their story became so famous that I heard about it from far away. Driven by curiosity, I traveled back to Kenya to learn the truth. When I heard their story firsthand, it gave me goosebumps. They are caught in a situation that seems impossible to escape once you're in it. Here is their story. My name is Brian Kyle, and I was born and raised in Kiambu County, and when I was growing up, my father, my, my father left us to go, I don't know where he went, and I was raised all by myself by my mom. My mom took care of me. She paid all my school fees even as she was struggling. She took me to high school and up to university. Brian, who is now 21 years old, was brought up by his mother from a young age. 
his mother worked hard to provide for him because his father left them when he was little. Growing up, Brian met many different people. It's normal for kids to meet new people as they grow, including some who might help them and others who might not. Meanwhile, a young girl Brian had never met or heard of was about to enter his life. So hi guys, my name is Brianna. I'm 19 years of age. My name is Brianna and I'm 19 years old. I was raised by my mom because I didn't see my dad much. My mom looked after me well. I started school in elementary, then went to high school, and later went to university where I used to live. They first met at this university, but neither of them knew the other or had met before. They became friends and eventually fell in love without realizing they were siblings. How did this happen? So we met at a party in school, just a random day. The school had organized the party, that's where we met, through a friend. We met through a friend who said, like, you, you and a friend I know, you have some similarities. So she organized that we had met, we met that day. And she was fun, she was cool that day. And that's how we started, like, talking to each other. Then the next time we met, we went, we went on a, we went out, we started knowing each other. A few months passed by, we started as girlfriend and boyfriend. Then we advanced and we also moved in together. So we met through a friend, and this friend, Alisema, like, kuna another boy, mwenye kuna I met him through a friend who mentioned that there was a guy she knew who had a similar personality to mine, and I was curious to meet him. At various school events, I asked my friend to introduce us. When we met, we clicked right away and really enjoyed each other's company. We didn't know we were related at first. We quickly became best friends and then fell in love. I felt so strongly about him that it seemed like nothing could stop my feelings. They met as students and fell in love, which is a normal and natural thing to happen. Over time, their love grew, and they began spending more time together, sharing everything like people in love do. But one day, something unexpected happened that changed everything. Uh, one day, we were on the bed, just relaxing after a long day in school then she showed me a picture of of her dad and i was so shocked because the same father that she was showing me is also my father and i was so nervous because we had already committed incest and I was so worried about what so many people were going to think, all my relatives, and what my mom was going to think about that. Siku moja tu, like, nikiwa na scroll simu yangu, nikakam, tuka, akaona, akaona picha ya babangu, kumbe babangu, pia ni babake. While looking at photos on my phone, I showed him a picture of my dad. He looked scared and then told me that the man in the photo was also his dad. This meant we had the same father. It was shocking and upsetting and I didn't know what to do. Imagine dating someone and then finding out he is your brother. I loved him so much that my feelings didn't change, especially since he was already my husband and I was pregnant with his child. My mom was there for me all my life, so she was very understanding and she, she had agreed to support us and she even talked to us even when I was in my depression state. She came and talked to me and she made me feel so safe and my girlfriend also was there and she she also convinced me that if we loved each other, why not continue with this relationship? His mother coming back to him was the right thing to do because, as a mother, she knew that his son wasn't to blame for what happened. However, the girl's family and society didn't see it that way. They didn't understand that she wasn't at fault. This is where they started to stand up for themselves in what feels like a battle against these societal views. 
my mama aliniachilia mama dia ataki kubodha kunifanyia anything when my mother found out she stopped helping me she used to provide all my meals but now she doesn't care about my life anymore people think we did something terrible but we didn't choose this my father also didn't care about the situation i felt very sad but there was nothing we could do because we only discovered the truth when it was too late Brianna told my the father that he had, that he she has met his brother he didn't even say anything because he's not he hasn't been there for my life so why would he why would he even care about us and he has never come back to even see how I was faring to even give me advice even now that I I also am going to be a parent and I'm really scared because I don't know what to do being a young parent is not something easy and I know that right now we can't we can we survive only on one meal or or two meals per day and how about us now being three of us in our life my mom doesn't have enough money to take care of the three of us of the two of us me and Brianna so how will she be able to take care of us and our child it's going to be really hard but i know i know there's going to be a way out the story of these young people Brian and Brianna is truly sad. Instead of their families supporting them and helping them understand their mistakes, they were the first to abandon them. If you notice, even their names are similar, hinting that they share the same parents. Now, with their families gone, their lives have become even more difficult. They struggle to find enough food, paying rent is a constant burden, and on top of that, Brian is dealing with serious health issues. Despite their youth, they are also preparing for the future, which includes the arrival of a child. They are facing these challenges without the support of their families, which makes their situation especially tough. All the relatives that were were paying some little fees to my to my university, they all stopped and went away because I'm dating my own sister and even if we go outside people really judge us for what we are doing but they don't understand the love that we share if they were in this same position they would understand why I love her and can't leave her alone so I'm epileptic and she has been there with me through this journey since every time I have an episode I converse and break my arms she's the one to always take me to the hospital at night at 3 a.m. at 4 a.m. she always be the one and we love each other so much and I'm not going to leave her for anything at least tuweze hadi kulea mtu iwe tu mwenye anakuja Everyone abandoned us, but we chose to keep the baby because we didn't want to have an abortion. It's not our fault. It's our parents. Also, I can't abandon him because his health is really bad, and I know he can't find anyone else to take care of him. I'm there to help him all the time. After being rejected by their families and others, they chose to stay together and love each other. Now they live together and openly show their love. walking the streets without shame and sharing what little they have however they still really need support from anyone who understands their struggles they believe there are still people out there who will listen to them instead of judging them i'm calling for everyone who wants to support us because i'm still in the university briana is still in the university and our debt is really big especially mine because My mom is the only one trying to 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 support us and she cannot pay for the university pay for our house rent house rent pay for my pay for my pay for my hospital bills because I'm epileptic and 
I need to to go to the hospital every month to go and have some checkup but I can't do that because she has no money so I will really appreciate it because as a man I really have to start thinking on how I am going to support my own family and I can't do that with all these debts school fees debts of which I will not be able to graduate and find any job so I call upon you who's watching this video to assist us in any way you can on the other hand atuna pesa ya kulipia my husband school fees we are now living with a lot of debt we are students and can't work because of our studies. My husband also needs a lot of money for medical treatment and to solve our other problems. We haven't paid our rent for two months and we owe money at the place where we buy food. Everyone has abandoned us and we didn't choose this situation. Most people wish our baby didn't exist, but we think that abandoning each other would be an even bigger mistake. This is a serious issue and the